times, although it has been 14 years since he raced, his 28 consecutive victories stand as the longest winning streak in the sport. How about a great hand for the great Cam Fella? And now here they are for the SBOA New Jersey Classic. Number one is Dream Away, owned by Katz Goldblatt and Lipfeld and Ron Pierce. One A is Jeremy's Gambit. Owned by the Gambit Stables and Mike Lachance. 1B is JK Outlaw by Smart J Stables, Dominic Gatto Jr. and Jack Mosaif. Too Hard to Pass by Arlene and Jules Siegel and William Fay. Two A is Park Place of Arlene and Jules Siegel and John Campbell. Three Such a Hood owned by Arthur Cordomanchi and Mark O'Mara. Four is Arturo, owned by Carl Gregg and Luke Willette. Five is Magnificent, owned by ML of Delaware, Potkin Stables, and George Brennan. Six Yankee Cam, owned by the Wellwood Stables, AFJ Stable, and Paul McDonnell. And seven Rods Deal, owned by George Steinbrenner, the third, and Catella Manzi. And that's the field for the New Jersey Classic Final. And again, we saw Cam Fella on the track. Cam Fella is out there scoring. Pat Crow, we bring in Cam Fella down the stretch once again. Cam Fella was recognized for his illustrious racing career when he was inducted in the Canadian Horse Racing Hall of Fame. He succeeded his racing exploits with a phenomenal career as a sire. The gate is moving. Field for the SBOA New Jersey Classic. Behind again and moving up. Here they come. And uh, they're off. Rod's deal leaves on the far outside, as does Park Place. Round the first chain. Also from between horses, that's Yankee Cam, and along the inside, such a hoot. Four across the track early. With Arturo in fifth, and a length and a half, hard to pass sixth. Another two to Jeremy's Gambit, then a length and a half to Dream Away. Followed by J.K. Outlaw in two, Magnificent. Opening quarter, 27 and one. Off the turn down the back stretch. it's Yankee Cam leading it by three. Rod's deal, a second, a length and a half, with such a hoot, third by two. As Arturo swings to the outside, fourth. Then it's Park Place, fifth by two. Hard to pass, in sixth. Jeremy is Gambit, but a dozen lengths from the lead, seventh. Another length that have to dream away. Then it's J.K. Outlaw in two. Magnificent. The half, 55 and one. Another far turn. Janky Cam, leading it by a length and a half, two. Rod's deal second by three. Arturo in third, a length and a half. With Park Place. Jeremy's Gambit now trying to get into it from fifth. Dreamaway's off stride. They approach three quarters. And Yankee Cam there by two, two and a half. Rods deal second. The outside, Arturo. Three quarters in one, 23 even. They come to the top of the stretch. And Yankee Cam drifting out badly, but still with a short lead. The inside, Rods deal from between horses. Arturo. Here comes Park Place, and on the outside, Jeremy's Gambit, full horse race to the wire. It's Arturo in between horses. Jeremy's Gambit, Arturo wins the New Jersey Classic Final in 151 and 2. Returning to the winner's circle, Carl Gregg's Arturo. Eligible for the $1 million Meadowlands Pace, as is every horse that was in this field. Three-year-old Bay Colt by Arts Place. They're Pirate Law, trained by Stephen LeBlanc, and driven to victory by Luke Willett. That's a lifetime mark, 151 and 2. Making the presentation for this SBOA New Jersey Classic, 
Anthony Parenti, president of the SBOA, Pat Salerno of the SBOA, Tom D'Altrui, Jackie Ingrassia, Taylor Palmer Jr., and Ed Rossetti. Welcome, everybody, from the SBOA here tonight. Another great New Jersey classic with Arturo winning it in 151 and 2. The pick three, three of three, $246, 246. Super with Hayden. I don't mind. Thank you. Take Thanks. it away, Holly. Thanks, John. We're here with the two-time defending HDA driver of the year, Luke Roulette. Luke, tell us a little bit before we ask you about the race, about some of the recent braking problems Arturo has, and he seems to be over him pretty well. Yeah, tonight he showed he was over him. Uh, he felt very safe. He scored down real good, warmed up real good tonight. He was really as best as he can be. Oh, he's had some, uh, some braking problems in the past. Were there any changes made? Well, there were minor changes made, but uh, I, I think he's over it now. He, he trained very well this week, and... Uh, since uh, those changes were made last week, he acted real safe and uh, again tonight. Okay, and a horse like this, a high speed, how do you get a horse like this to relax during a race? Well, I tell you what, uh, he took a lot of hair tonight. That relaxed him pretty well. I think that's the reason why uh, he had a lane here. I was able to drive on him a little bit. At that point, he was tired. The previous week, uh, I think it was real fresh when he would come out of our hole and if you would call on him, when he would switch gears, he'd make a mistake. You didn't get out of the gate all that well here at the 3 8 pole. You pulled first over. What were you thinking at that stage of the race? Well, um, <clears throat> there were horses coming. I had to come, but uh, it didn't look like I was going to make the front. And I, I just sat on the outside, and uh, when that horse made a break, I was able to have a little breed air there against the cones a little bit around the last turn, so that helped a little bit. And there's a driving finish to the wire. What were you thinking there in deep stretch? John Campbell's on your inside uh, with uh, Park Place. Your uncle, Michael Chance, Jeremy's Gambit, big, big finish. Well, uh, John wasn't gaining on me on the inside, and uh, Mike was creeping up on the outside, but uh, uh, that's what I was worried about. Okay, and last year, this horse, Arturo, was one of the favorites in the Breeders' Crown. They had a real solid season. What's next for Arturo? Well, I guess they're going to, he might have one overnight and then uh, elimination for the Meadowland Pace, and I guess then probably the Cane and